what's up y'all y'all already know what time it is it's story time friday you know what i was going to sit back and relax grab your little snacks and tune in for this tea okay so before we get into this video y'all make sure y'all giving it a thumbs up the likes help so much leave anything in the comments a chicken a dot a heart um a turkey because y'all know it's uh gonna be thanksgiving so leave a little turkey so listen i was real hesitant on doing this video and this is actually a re-record because i recorded this video two years ago i had like 200 followers not even that did i have to maybe i probably had like 400 followers or subscribers and i got literally 111 views 111 on angel number for y'all on this video when i recorded it in the past two years ago me listen my story time the one story time i had was about dum dum trying to get me fired when she called my job and then i went to the police because she was doing this that and the third that video was cringy but if you ain't ever seen it you could definitely go watch it i'm gonna link it but besides that my videos was like under 15 minutes basically the first time i recorded this one it was i took a lot out i overly sugar-coated it like i was like you know what this is a touchy subject so let me not you know give it to them raw let me strap up i'm not gonna do that i'm just let y'all know and also i'm gonna let y'all know that bodily fluids is not my game it's not my thing it's not what i do to get revenge okay but this is what a girl did so yeah with that being said let's get into this video it's a lot it's a lot okay now i'm gonna have to take y'all back to my popeyes days when i worked at fast food um, as y'all know, or some of y'all know, I worked with my best friend. We call her Alicia, my then best friend. I feel like when we first started working at Popeyes, it was like the best time of our life. And people from like school, like that I used to know because for high school, I was homeschooled, but like middle school and everything, I still knew everybody. And everybody would come to our specific Popeyes because it was the closest one in the vicinity. So it was like all the people we went to school with, all everybody basically, okay? This Popeyes brand new, mind you. So me and Alicia at work one day and it's like, I don't even know what to call this girl. I want to say arch nemesis, but I ain't trying to make it like cartoony, but Alicia literally hated this girl. And that's my best friend. And plus, um, the girl had came for me too. So I had every reason not to like her too. Ultimately, if my friend don't like you, I really don't like you, care for you either. So, and that was my best. We was like this, okay? This, that was my home skillet motherfucker biscuit what we gonna call the girl okay so we gonna call the girl kia that alicia hated okay alicia had every right not to like this girl at one point the girl was messing with her boyfriend and they had already had beef before that so you know it was just like a long ongoing thing from middle school to high school to i don't even know when let me give y'all like a brief super brief backstory okay so what had recently happened was alicia and kia had gotten into it on facebook and kia put me into it so of course i'm gonna act like tag me in sis i'm going at this whole neck too so <laughs> y'all know the facebook beef you i'm telling you people was not scared to say nothing it was like twitter fingers before twitter fingers was a thing okay but it was facebook fingers so we all arguing on facebook kia telling her that's why i'm effing with your dude you just mad because i got your man da -da -da -da, really getting up on the alicia skin it was a big deal so one day i don't know how we all got on the phone oh i think uh, me and alicia just decided to call her one day like what's tea what's the beef what's the problem let's meet up you know alicia was trying to fight the girl we called kia on three-way Kia's like, you can't meet up, bitch, y'all. You better bring people. You better bring more than one person. You better bring more than Tatiana because I'm going to beat your ass. And, and so-and-so going to beat her ass. And she going to, y'all, I'm going to jump you. Basically, she said she was going to jump us, right? So the girl that she was supposed to well at least one of the girls that she was supposed to get to jump us chelsea was cool with so it <laughs> y'all this was so messy okay so what ended up happening happening was it was me alicia chelsea and the girl on the phone chelsea had called her we was on a four-way call y'all know how messy four-way calls was we was on that four-way call chelsea was like well what's the problem you're not finna fight my friends da 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 the girl was like, what are you talking about? Like, I, I know that Kia don't like Alicia and want to fight her, but that don't have nothing to do with me. Da, 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 da. And she was like, oh, so you wasn't going to be one of the females jumping? Nobody's going to jump them. What are you talking about? Like, nobody even talking about fighting. I'm not fighting for Kia. We cool, but da, da, da. So basically, Kia was just yip yapping on talk. So <laughs> we bust out laughing. You know, okay, so it was like one of those things where Chelsea was pretending that it was just her on the phone. But then me and Alicia like bust out laughing. She was like, Chelsea. Oh, 
see. Okay, well, I was just making sure my friends are on the phone. And she was like, okay, hi, friends, whatever, da da da. Nobody's gonna fight you. You're good. And so it was like, we know, we know, we good, da da da. Basically, we ended up becoming cool with the girl, um, Kia friend. It was a lot. It was a lot. So yeah, then that snowballed into something else. Like, bitch, you a scary bitch. You ain't nobody, you ain't got nobody to fight. Nobody got your back, da da da. That's what Alicia was saying to Kia. And it was just so much drama, okay? So that was the fresh drama going on at this time so one day me and alicia just at work who we see beat bopping her dumb ass in? <laughs> let me stop i'm not even trying to go in on this girl i literally oh my god okay i'm not trying to go in on this girl who we see beat bopping their ass up in the papa try to get a two-piece and a biscuit oh i want to i'm gonna say one thing about it i'm gonna try to get your ass the driest biscuit i i don't think she expected us to be working at popeye's because when she saw us, mind you, me and Alicia, which they they eventually figured out we cannot work together. So when we did work together, one would be on drive through and one would be on the front. But at this time, they didn't know we was besties. You had to keep it on the low-low until eventually you can't even hide it. When you work with your best friend, it's a mess. So yeah, it was me at one register and Alicia at the register right beside me. We standing up there looking like the double mint twins. And she looked like she done seen a ghost. You, you want some chicken? Some ch this chicken? Now, you can't want this chicken. For you, we got a chicken, boo. I swear I wanted to be like, what you said you want? A breast and a lip? We don't got that. Not today. No, Papa's truck didn't come and they said they don't have no breast and legs. Oh, you want a thighs? We don't got that either. The thigh truck ain't come neither. She come to me. Can I have a two piece with some da 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 and da da da? Speak, I can't. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Can't be, Cause why is you mumbling? You got so much mouth on the phone and on the internet, but now you can't talk. Can I have a, a set of two piece, uh, spicy with this, this, and that? That's for giving her mail. The whole interaction was awkward. She looked scared as hell, shaking in her goddamn boots. Didn't know what to do. Was on her phone the whole time. And you could just tell she looked uncomfortable. Anyway, I give her her bag. She don't say nothing. I said, you're welcome. Thank you for choosing Popeye's. Because at this time, we were so new. When somebody entered, you had to say, welcome to Popeye's. Thank you for choosing Popeyes. Like they are, our Popeyes really made us do the most. At one point, the manager, like he wasn't the general manager, but he was like kind of on a corporate level or about to be on a corporate level. He used to make us say, Thank you for choosing Popeyes home with a crispy fries, Louisiana chicken. How may I take your order today? Or I, I was like, uh uh. Thank you for choosing Popeyes. How can I help you? Fast forward, right? Me and Alicia got off at the same time and our schedule was perfect because mind you, me and Alicia lived literally around the corner from each other. Like she lived in one half of the neighborhood and then it's like you come out of my side of the neighborhood, cross the street and then our neighborhood was in sections, okay? Like four good sections around this time. Now it was big as hell. So yeah, we lived five minutes walking distance from each other, maybe like a good eight minutes walking distance. It was a cute little walk. It wasn't too long, good little workout, work your legs out in the summertime, okay? So anyway, we used to ride and come to work together. Even if um, our shifts was like an hour apart, nine times out of 10, it was the same because we requested it to be that way. But sometimes our shifts would be an hour difference and we would just stay away for each other. So either my aunt took us to work and her dad picked us up or vice versa, you know? So yeah, this day we get off at the same time and we go back to Alicia house because it was still fairly early. It was probably like around four, five o'clock, probably four o'clock. And we go back to Alicia's house and we chilling. Y'all already know Facebook was the social media, for real. That was the eat girl social media. So we get on Facebook. What do we see scrolling down Facebook? We see, oh my God, Alicia, did you see what Kia say? Did you see what I think Kia talking about you? Cause like people knew that we worked at Popeyes. What Kia status say? Remember, we had just seen Kia. She ain't had no smoke. She ain't had no animosity, no nothing. She ain't even scrunch her little face up. This whole kid said something like, LOLs, bitches is fry cooks now. Oh, she's trying to be funny. She's trying to be funny. You sure ate that chicken? I know you ate that chicken. And them called booty fries. So we like, what the fuck? Is she serious? Alicia was like, I'm finna drop this bitch. We about to meet up. Nah, where the fuck she at? Where she at? So Alicia, me and Alicia asking everybody where this girl live at. Nobody want to tell us. Even like her dude, like close, close friends, they knew where uh, Kia worked. I mean, lived at. Ain't nobody wanted to tell us. Because Alicia just started off, I'm finna drop this bitch. I'm finna da 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 Where she at? Give me her fucking address. You can't come with animosity. Even though like a good majority of the people knew that they didn't like each other. Look at her. Bitch. I get <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs>
Mommy, can you? Mommy, can you? Mommy, can you? Can you? You said you're gonna burn me out. So that don't mean I want you to beat my phone up here. No, 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 no. Ma, I'm gonna forget what I was talking about. So okay, anyway, y'all, I just hold a whole backstory. I don't know if I'm keeping it in because that's kind of like another story time. Not a backstory, a whole side story. And I was calling Kia scary. That was her name. It wasn't Kia and no I was just like, and then scary was like, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that in because that's kind of like another story time. Okay, so yeah, back to the story. Nobody was trying to give up Kia, aka scary address so we was like all right it's gonna stay a facebook beef until we meet again to be continued because we we're not gonna forget you talking all this hot shit on facebook we already got the proof that we need ask for it okay we kept the beef on facebook to be continued now i gotta put this in so the next part can make sense so one night we at work this night me and alicia working a night shift hated closing i absolutely hated closing because we were so unorganized to the point where we would be up in popeyes at two three o'clock in the morning and half the time it was a school night remember we still teenagers it would be a school night, even though I'm homeschooled, my aunt did not feel like coming to pick me up in the middle of the night. She got to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. No, but anyway, this night we closed and me and Alicia and like a bunch of other people. And did we have a manager? Yeah, we had a manager, but it was the cool manager, the messy manager that I briefly touched on. I didn't really get too deep up in her, but a lot of the mess was because she was instigating it. And as a grown ass woman, I don't feel like she should have been doing that. Y'all know how when adults like not all adults but a lot of adults in the workplace come to work their home life is so boring so work is their like entertainment you know like they get a kick out of all the drama especially when they're working with younger people they get a kick out of i done seen it too many times in the workplace so don't be like no i ain't never seen it. i've seen it every job i went to it was literally just like that it don't matter if i was working with all teenagers at popeyes at one point because they started hiring older people and it turned into another type of popeyes Anyway, the night going regular, we was having like one of them slow, um, little slow spells where, you know, not really many people come in and stuff until a group of like five, six dudes come in, right? They order like two 12 piece meals or something like that. Two big ass meals, the ones that come with the two large sides and the six biscuits. Then they order a jug of the lemonade, which I don't know. It was like we made the tea, but we didn't make the lemonade. So I, may, I don't know. Maybe they like the lemonade, whatever. So yeah, they ordering up a lot of stuff to young teenagers. And I guess they thought that they was finna hit a lick. They was finna finesse. Papa's. Mind you, me and Alicia at the front, but Alicia the one that took the order, right? So we didn't have a packer because basically we was the both, we was two cashiers up front and whoever didn't take, whoever wasn't taking orders would pack the food at the front. I don't know. They would, the schedule would be crazy and that's how it had to go, right? So he was like, um, yeah, and throw in the, one of the one that was paying, what, put out the stack of cash, throw in the fruit extra pieces. Yeah, hook us up, really hook us up too. Are you hooking me up? Like, first of all, don't get me wrong, because I would hook people up at Popeye's, especially like the people I knew, only the people I knew for real. But don't tell me to hook you up. If I'm feeling nice, friendly, and generous, then I'll throw you some extra fries. We can't really throw you no extra chicken because the chicken get counted. And the chicken get counted at the end of the night. And Popeyes is so trifling that they count the chicken and they used to literally throw it in the trash in front of us instead of letting us take it home. Or giving it to the homeless. Forget us. Give it to the homeless people. So anyway, my point was, don't tell me to hook you up. Because now I'm not going to hook you up. Matter of fact, I might skimp you, sir. The fuck? <laughs> Y'all, I probably, it was the way he was asking. It was his tone. It wasn't the fact that he asked. It was the way he asked. And hook me up too. Hook me up. Okay. Anyway, this order was so big that I decided to pack while he was, um, while she was taking the order. So as soon as I heard the first, I'm starting to pack, starting to pack spicy mild, whatever. So when I got done packing the chicken, I would b briefly turn around, see what kind of size they want. Okay, I'm about to pack the size, put it up in the bag, that's ready. So yeah, that's how I was doing it. So everything was like simultaneously. She taking the order and I'm packing it and I'm turning around waiting. Okay, what else y'all want? What else y'all want? Okay, I'm finna make it now. So I get finished packing the second part of the order. She, I turn around like, okay, they want something else? Because what? This is a big-ass order. Y'all want some ketchup? Not ketchup. <laughs> Who's ketchup? Y'all want some ketchup? Hot sauce? You want some ketchup, hot sauce, honey? So yeah, I asked her, you want some ketchup, hot sauce, honey? 
And I noticed, mind you, they don't even notice that she looking at the money because they was just so for sure about it, right? So she looking at the money, kind of hard hold it up to the ceiling, whatever. They talking amongst themselves, like, yeah, give me some hot sauce, ketchup, honey. And they finish talking amongst themselves. Alicia walked to the back to the manager. And that's when they finally noticed, like, something ain't right. Where, where she going? What she doing? What you doing? Where you going? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> not getting hard so yeah everything just kind of paused and i don't give them the food or nothing because technically you ain't paid yet so i put their bag of food no actually i take the food out the bags and i put it on the warmers so you know it don't just sit there getting all chilly whatever alicia walked back up with my manager my manager is like um sir we can't take this money this money is not real it's counterfeit the way this man immediately get offended counterfeit you see how crispy this money is? I just got this from the bank, the ATM. This money crispy, the ATM. Okay. <laughs> like, he was going hard, and then the other dudes just, like, throwing in that little counterfeit. Man, that money ain't counterfeit. You better check again. That money ain't counterfeet. You better look again. Put it, hold it up to the light. Da -da -da -da. Just everybody just saying their little shit, right? So, my manager is like, you just got this from the ATM? And he was like, yeah. She like, the ATM? Yeah, the ATM. She like, okay, sir. She pull out that counterfeit pin, <laughs> put the money on the counter and start marking them bills. Marking them, marking them, marking them, sir. Now you knew damn well. They they start turning black. You know when you mark money with the counterfeit pin and it turn black? It's fake. If it's keep that yellowy type of color, it's real. Like you shouldn't be able to see, see the mark on the money for real it should be like a yellowy almost not even there type of color but when it turned black it's fake money it's like paper she marked all the money she she was like well let me check the ones because maybe you can pay with ones you got some more ones she started marking the ones no they turned black too well the little marks turn black all your money fake sir and you knew that this man start flying off the handle he was like, y'all, she took my money back there and y'all switched them for fake bills. Y'all trying to keep my money and get over on me. Y'all trying to get over on me. Sir, my manager was like, sir, we do not keep counterfeit money in the store. These are counterfeit bills that you walked in. This is the same money that you walked in. Basically, like, try again, nigga. Because come on now, who what um establishment keep fake money in a store? How that's going to help the establishment? If we giving people fake money, actually it would, never mind. But you know what I mean. So the man is like, man, just give me my bread back and we gonna leave. We gonna go to another place. And da da da, just like talking shit basically like, give me my bread back. Give, just give it back, just give it back. You ain't getting this shit back today. <laughs> my man just said, sir, we are not allowed to give you, um, to return this counterfeit money to you. We are instructed to destroy it or call the police. He start losing it. Like, all of them start losing it. They was like, man, just give her money back. That money ain't fake. What the hell is she talking about? Da, da, da. It's like a whole bunch of dudes talking in the background. Then the main dude is like, what are you? That's money. How are you going to destroy money? You finna destroy this money right in front of my face? My manager start ripping the ones up. Ripping the ones up. I mean, the ones up. And it didn't rip like money. It ripped like paper. Come on, sir. Really be for real right now. So he losing it. I'm finna call the police my damn self. What, what's the store number? Give me the corporate number. I'm finna call the police. Like acting so outraged. We ain't hear nothing else about that situation after, mind you. Because he knew that was fake money. But he acting so outraged. Like like he he was like, I'm gonna own this Popeyes. By the time I'm done with y'all, I'm gonna own it. And I'm gonna own you. And I'm gonna fire your ass. Da -da -da, just going off because she was ripping up the money. We have to. Like literally, y'all, we have to. If somebody come in with counterfeit money, we have to destroy it and keep it as evidence. Just just in case. I don't know if you have to call the police, but I know you have to destroy it. Just like somebody using a stolen um, credit card or something, whatever, you got to cut it up. Or it's maxed out or something. I don't know what it, what it is with a credit card, but you need to cut it up. You have to destroy it. So they don't keep doing the same thing. We ripped up that money. We was laughing and talking like they really thought. I was like, let me keep a few dollars so I can give me some hot Cheetos. Real ratchet. <laughs> Fast forward, my manager reported that situation, altercation, whatever. We had to come in on a Saturday um, to have a meeting about counterfeit money and how we check every single bill, literally every bill, ones, tens, fives, twenties, every bill, okay? No bill can go unchecked, basically, right? Remember that, keep that in mind. Now, about two days after the counterfeit money incident, 
I'm back at work again. I'm on drive through Alicia is on um, the French. So we like real, we like right across from each other. So if we're not taking orders, we literally just talking because we had to stay in our area for, um, like 90% of the time, unless we faking like we doing some other stuff. So yeah, we just talking, da da da, keep keying. And um, it was, it was kind of slow at this time. So she would pack my drive through orders because we didn't have a packer for both sides. It was like, and then it was a thing like people would call in. So the person that was scheduled to pack the orders would have to end up dropping chicken. So that left me without a packer so yeah so it's slow for a while and i'm on drive through a car finally pull up so i do my usual thank you for choosing popeyes how can i help you and on the receiving end i get a oh my god we thinking oh my god real dramatic real unnecessary and i was used to rude customers because i promise you and i shit you not 85 to 90 percent of popeyes customers are rude okay and sometimes it's kind of justified because popeyes do be messing up they give you the wrong order they give they mess up chicken chicken be cold all kinds of stuff be up uh, one time a lady found a band-aid in her mashed potatoes at our popeyes it was a lot of rude ass people so i was used to it i'm like okay this is a young bitch and she just in a mood or whatever anyway i did hear other people order and i heard her was like okay what you want and what you want da, da, da. okay so you want this and da, da, da. so i'm hearing her because once you pull up and ding i can hear everything you saying the whole entire time you can't hear everything i'm saying because i could easily turn my headset off but i can hear everything you're talking about so if you if you on the phone and drive through telling your nigga to pull his dick out i'm gonna hear you and they also say like mcdonald's got a camera and they can see you so y'all just keep that in mind when you picking your boogers and then trying to touch the people like here you go here's my money no booger fingers i don't want that after i hear this girl have an attitude i tell alicia to pick up a headset because she was packing my orders but i was just like the orders would pop up on the screen so she didn't necessarily need a headset to see what was being ordered but i'm like girl put this headset on and, and, and listen to this bitch with her attitude y'all i promise you about a minute go by i'm literally making me a drink i'm sipping out the drink i'm talking to alicia and all of a sudden the girl is like hello hello i'm ready hello and i'm like i'm just listening like okay go ahead okay i got four different orders and the first one i want so i'm like i'm sorry can you repeat that this bitch say oh my god you can't hear oh my god i said i want a two-piece spicy with a side of fries and a sprite something like that okay let's just say that's what she ordered so i'm like okay she was like okay i got three more orders are you ready can you hear me y'all i'm thinking to myself this hoe irritating the fuck out of me alicia might have to take this order because listen i can't deal i can't deal and i'll pack it so i, I just say go ahead y'all wonder why popeye's workers be rude it's because y'all talk to us fucking crazy so while i'm doing an order i'm like this hoe sound familiar you know just tapping it in the screen this hoe sound familiar this hoe sound familiar i'm looking at alicia like this hoe sound familiar. Then she was like, I'm done. Okay, can you repeat my order back to you? So I repeat the order back to her. So after um, people ordered, we had to be like, do you want any um, fried apple pies and sweet fried apple pies, da, 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 whatever. And she was like, did I ask for a fried apple pie? I don't want an apple pie. Rock my baby, I'm about to kill this bitch. Bitch, I had to calm myself down. Woo! Because, listen, it's one thing about it. I don't like being told what to do. I don't like when people try to use their authority. Ab I mean, abuse their authority. And I don't like when people talk to me fucking crazy. Especially when I'm at work and you know I can't do shit about it. So, Alicia pack an order. I go over there and I help her, like, put the finishing touches on the order. Put it in the bag, whatever. And I'm like, this bitch sound familiar. Did she not sound familiar? Alicia was like, bitch, I don't know. Eating over there eating because <laughs> it was easier to eat on a drive through side than the front side because it was like a camera directly on the packer but on the drive through side the camera you couldn't really see them packing you know it was in a weird angle i feel like i don't know i just felt like it wasn't directly on you i mean we all felt like that because we all used to be eating mind you i did hear like snickering and stuff in her background of the car or whatever so i'm walking around um trying to help alicia simultaneously and still talking to her i'm like okay i'll have your total at the window da 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 and I was like, you can drive forward to the first window or the second window. And she said something smart. I don't know, something smart like, 
finally, da -da -da, so, you know, something like that. And I'm like, I can't wait to this whole pull up to the window because I bet you, they, you, y'all, I promise you, Popeye's drive through, they did not have that same kind of energy that they had when they was ordering when they finally pulled up to the window. They never kept that same energy, ever. Y'all, I walk over to this window. I open that window. She rolled down that window to her car. Guess who the fuck it is? Take a moment, write it in the comments. Guess who at this window? It's scary, AKA Kia. I know you lying. So I tell her the total of her order. She give me the money. I close the window. And then I start doing the drinks while I'm like, oh, I'm doing everything simultaneously. Like y'all, y'all had to move real fast because um drive through had a timer on it and you had to stay under a certain time for drive through. So I'm doing everything real fast. Mind you, our headsets could do headset to headset and then like the you press different buttons for different things. So you could talk to somebody directly to their headset. Okay, so I text, I mean, not text, I tap the thing and I'm like, bitch, you will never guess what this window is scary. Alicia like, bitch, stop lying. I'm like, nope, not lying. Mind you, the whole time I'm like doing her drinks and stuff. I already put the money in the register. The register's still open because I got to give her her change. Put the drinks in a cup holder, open the window, give her her drinks. I'm about to pick up her change. She was like, can I have a large cup of ice? So I close the window and I make the large cup of ice. Alicia come around, put the rest of the food so I could give it to her on the counter. So on the drive through thing, so I could hand it to her. And she was like, oh, that's why she was talking shit. She got people in the car with her. That's why she got balls now. She got balls now. I'm going to still drop that hoe. Da -da -da. Talking, just talking. Not just talking because I really think she would have fought that girl. This whole time, mind you, while I was packing the drinks and stuff, I hear the beep thing go off and I asked Alicia to take that order. So there's another order and now there's a car behind her waiting for their food too, right? So I open the window, give her her change, and then I hand her the cup of ice. There was no sense of closing the window in my mind. Y'all, tell me why. This hoe, take, I'm thinking she taking the lid off to check and expect her ice to make sure like there's nothing in ice. Because I do that. I open my drink before I drink it too. So she take the lid off. Throw the ice at me. Fling all the ice at me. Throw the cup at me in her change. And then she busts out laughing. Everybody was like, oh, bitch, I can't, I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you did that. Bust out laughing and skirt, drive off. Skirt, drive off. That shit happened so damn fast. I couldn't even react. She was gone by the time I reacted. She was gone. This hoe slapped me with quarters and nickels and dimes in a cup of ice. In a cup. Pissed off is not the word. When that happened, it caused a small commotion. And my manager was like in the back. Like not the back. Yeah, it was the back because it was like the area where you wash dishes talking to somebody. And it was like a small commotion like, oh, oh my God, oh my God. Like everybody was tripping. So y'all, I promise you, I tried to run out that that side door of the Popeyes. I tried to run out that door so fucking fast. Not that I was going to catch the car. Who I thought it was, Speed Racer? Like, no, I don't know. what I forgot I was at work. I forgot I was at work. I swear to God I did. But the cool manager with that, and she grabbed my arm like, what are you doing? What are you? Don't. Don't. What happened? Just tell me what happened. They was like, somebody just threw ice at her and they threw money at her. It's money all over the floor. Y'all, it's money on the floor. Ice on the floor. People slipping on ice. We got to sweep the ice up. It was a lot. My, my I was so fucking mad. I started cussing. Somebody else had to take the drive through order because Alicia was mad. Y'all, that shit was crazy. I think my manager was like shook. She ain't never seen me get that mad before. And she was like, because the way she was looking at me was like, this you? This really you? Y'all know the cool manager wanted to be in a little high school teenage mix. I don't know why. But she took us to the, um, what do you call it, the lobby area. And we sat down in a booth. And we, she was just trying to calm us down. And we was all just talking and looked like we was getting special treatment. And bitches was mad <laughs> because they still had to do their job. But we did not care. She was like, y'all want to take y'all lunch right now? Y'all can take y'all lunch. Y'all can sit out here and cool down, whatever. So we take our lunch, order food. When we came back, she was like, okay, y'all both can go to the back and tell so-and-so and so-and-so to come up here and take orders. Because we would switch off like that. Like, um, sometimes the front workers would go wash dishes and then you would switch off and 
and then you would go up to the front and take the orders if that makes sense you know what i'm saying so me and alicia went to the back to wash dishes which was really playtime because bitch <laughs> we and then we wasn't closing so we didn't have to wash all the dishes and be responsible for all the dishes so yeah we was back there talking mad as hell calling people bitch we was on the phone like it was crazy <laughs> so yeah that whole the rest of that night was cool chilling we was eating girl we weren't doing nothing <laughs> and are just talking to our manager and then when we finally got off you already know what we did we hopped on the book we hopped on a book i'm like i'm just saying make status as weak ass bitches throwing ice i can't wait to see you oh da, 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 da. we was at in this food we was at in this girl and then we would click on her page because we like why she not responding why she not responding click on her page she was responding she just wasn't at in us Bitch. okay so now fast forward i don't even know how long later it probably was like a week later before she beat bop back up into uh popeyes again we at work working a normal day and i promise you it was almost time for us to get off we got off at like four five like i said so alicia is at the front and i'm the packer for drive through i'm not taking orders i'm just packing the food but i take orders if it gets too busy or whatever so yeah scary aka kia come in but she with somebody this time and it looked like she was with her mom it was either her mama or her grandma i don't i couldn't really tell for real and I know that sounds strange, but y'all know black don't crack. So yeah, it could have been her mama, it could have been her grandma, I'm not sure. She come in, look like she's seen a ghost immediately when she seen Alicia on that front register. The mom, I mean, the grandmama, the mama gram, I don't know. <laughs> Whoever she was with, <laughs> she took, she was uh, saying the order. And she was like, um, she called the, she called Kia by her nickname, Scary. Um, so Scare Scare, what, what you want Scare Scare? <laughs> I don't know. So scary order a two piece and a spicy two piece or whatever. And the mama gram ordered the same thing, but she ordered like a three piece. It was something like that. They got similar meals, right? So y'all, okay, this is where it finally get trifling. Cause I know y'all was like, when the bitch go spending her food. This is where it finally get trifling. If you're not into bodily fluids or nothing like that, then listen. See, so go ahead and click off. Cause yeah. So yeah, Alicia didn't have a packer. So it was like I was running from drive through to the front, drive through to the front, right? It wasn't that many people working today. The cool manager, this the cool manager was there, but she was in a lobby area on her lunch, right? So she couldn't see what was going on. And when you behind and when you like basically on the drive through side, whoever's in the lobby can't really see what's going on in this Popeyes, right? So Alicia called back. Tatiana, can you pack my orders for me while she's taking the order? So I go around so I could look on her screen, see what they ordered, memorize it, and start packing it on the drive through side. So when she get done taking the order, she give them the cups and she come on the drive through side to help me pack the orders. And we was just like listening for the bell, for the um, bell. So we could be like, welcome to Popeyes whenever somebody come in. Alicia was like, I, I know that bitch ain't up in here. I told her ass never, because when we was getting into it on Facebook, Alicia was like, bitch, you better not ever come to the Popeyes. I'm going to spit in your fucking food and da-da-da-da-da. So she warned the bitch. I'm not saying it's right. It ain't right at all. But she said that shit when we was getting into it on Facebook. Bitch, you a fried cook, da-da-da-da. That's what Scary was saying to Alicia. So that's why Alicia was going off. I know this bitch ain't in here. And da 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 da. Alicia was like, bitch, I'm spitting in her food. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not going to touch her mama gram food, but I'm spitting in this bitch food. I'm like, bitch, no. No, no. Natalie Lewis is never my thing, y'all. And it's crazy because, sorry, side ramble. When we was like in middle school type shit and um, Chelsea, mom, Chelsea and her mom would get into it and then her mom would be like, go get me a glass of water. I remember this bitch, Chelsea, saying, I spit in her water every fucking time. And I knew right then and there never to ask Chelsea for nothing, okay? Nothing. And when she cook and I'm at her house, Hawk her ass down. Watch her. Don't take your fucking eyes off of her because that bitch is nasty and trifling. This bitch was like, I spit in her water every time. I could never do that. I don't care. My aunt used to do that shit. We used to um get into it and then she would be like, bring me a glass of water. Da -da 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 -da. I just could never do that to her. I remember y'all, one time my aunt, we got into it and I um, she asked me to bring her some water. It was like probably five minutes later. I um, was getting the ice, dropped the ice cube on the floor. I promise you, I thought of Friday when he popped that ice cube in a cup and poured the water. I promise you, I mean, brought him the water. I was like, I thought about it. I was like, nope. I threw the ice cube in the sink. I can't do it because I wouldn't want nobody to do that shit to me. So I'm like, no, 
don't do it don't do it i know you said you was gonna do it but don't fucking do it just don't do it at least she was like i'm doing it oh y'all i told her not to do it like twice after that i didn't tell her not to do it no more color me trifling <laughs> i mean i didn't i wasn't the one to actually spit but i i mean i don't even want to say i could have prevented it because like i said people gonna do what the fuck they want to do let me tell y'all this shit because it wasn't literally like a type of thing right so the fries come up we putting the food on the tray i'm packing her mama food she packing scary food so she was really like talking over it saying like p words and words that will make you spit she was like pass me that plate p -p -p. people people please tyrell patty please like that kind of shit over the food so i was like alicia alicia y'all know i'm always uh deleting something anyway she was like what's the problem what's the problem over and over again doing the hard peas and she was like pass me the plate the plate the plate she's like the plate the plate like y'all know them little um them little them little trays that popeye sometimes put y'all two piece of biscuit in instead of a box them little trays but she called them a plate so she could spit over the girl food so the whole time she just over the girl food but like trying to pass it off as talking because there's other people back there and if they literally see you doing that over somebody's food they gonna snitch i don't give a fuck how cool you are with somebody we stay getting snitched on by people we thought was we was friends with you know so they don't care so she was trying to pass it off as she was talking but trying to make her words extra speedy so i'm like bitch let me take um mama graham her damn food because you're doing a lot right now <laughs> you're doing a lot and she was like bitch bitch i don't care bitch a bitch i just talking over the girl food i'm like oh i did have like a oh poor bitch poor scary bitch moment but at the same time the history y'all no not at the same time nothing because trifling is trifling fuck that i'm not even finna say what i was finna say because that seems like justifying and i ain't trying to justify none of this trifling ass shit so i'm just looking at alicia like <laughs> bitch i don't trust you no more um i knew from then on out not to piss alicia off and ask her for some water a, a chicken sandwich uh a, a nothing not a bag of chips nothing bitch because i don't trust your ass no more the even more trifling part we finished packing a food we called a order number order number da, da 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 that's mama graham order and then um i called off the other order number da, 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 da. that's scary order i'm like oh here bitch just I put it on the counter and I walk away back to the uh back to the drive through side. It's uh, it's beyond me now. It's not in my hands no more, bitch. <laughs> so yeah, Alicia spit in scary food, but God was on scary side because we messed up scary or well Alicia messed up scary order. Scary ordered like white meat and I think Alicia gave her dark meat because I don't y'all I don't know why people just assume that black people want dark meat like <laughs> my baby like breast a like, wing. Baby. I'll be asking for that and they still give me dark meat, ma'am. Come on now. And then breast is extra. So yeah, we charge the girl for um like a dollar or something extra for a breast and she want her breast. So she walked back up. Um, y'all gave me dark meat and I wanted white meat. So like can y'all just change that and da da da. So um, so she was like, here, y'all can take the dark meat back. I don't want it. Da -da. At least she was like, no, you can have that too. She was like, Well, I don't eat dark meat. And then I just talking real calm, no smoke, no animosity. So we took the dark meat back and I made I made her the breast and the leg and I gave it right to her so her fries might have been a little better but her breast and leg her breast and wing i don't know Honestly, why i, keep I didn't leg. see when they walked out but i don't know if this girl ate her food or not because i wasn't watching her the whole time but i know when i did like glance up at her she was kind of picking at her food looking like she was ready to go like kind of leaning on the table like looking like she was ready to go or on her phone just looking sad and pathetic and i kind of started feeling bad for her and it's like that was just like my heart but at the same time like the little evil part of me is like no that bitch talks so much shit she did this she was showing out in front of her friends da -da 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 -da. that's how that's why i have a hard time letting shit go because it'd be that little evil devil on my on my little shoulder like nah remember what that bitch did two weeks ago remember what that nigga did two years ago don't let that shit go you already know you gotta punish that hoe let me stop <laughs> <laughs> but no for real i just i feel bad for her alicia no empathy sympathy or nothing for the bitch nothing she was like why why didn't you let me make it and da, da, da. bitch 
No. No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you did it already. It didn't work. The bitch hacked Jesus on the side. Let her, let her slide. Shit. The bitch slid. I don't know if she ate them fries. <laughs> I don't know. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's actually really fucking nasty. Listen. Basically, the most of the story is... <sighs> You do not piss off people fucking with your food. This and is don't why if I, if my food get brought out, I got a problem with it. Just give me a refund. I just want a refund. I don't ever ask for them to redo it, remake it, take it back, bring it back. No, just give me a refund and I'm going to go somewhere else because I know how people do. Also, this is also why between this incident and the time that they dropped a whole rack of chicken, like, oh my God, I didn't eat that popeyes for years i just started eating at popeyes again a few years ago and i would tell everybody like don't eat at popeyes do not eat at popeyes they nasty as fuck da, da, da. but that go for all fast food places this is and honestly that's why i don't even order drinks from fast fast food restaurants that's the main reason and then the other reason is they don't clean their soda machine so when your sprite tastes like sprite with a little something extra a little booty bouncing crumbs in it yes yeah, because they don't clean out their soda machine you're supposed to really take the soda machine apart and clean it and soak all that shit and put it back together every single day clean out the hoses and all that they don't do that i, I promise you i just want the jollibee don't ask me why i'm eating jollibee <laughs> yesterday and that pepsi tastes horrendous i always wonder what people would be like when they be like oh that shit tastes horrendous that shit was horrendous that pepsi that pepsi it tastes like somebody spray pump it up spritz um, got to be hair glue spray and all kinds of shit up in there because it tastes like chemicals and mixed with a little booty. Stop eating fast food. Stop eating fast food and stop being rude because everybody morals is not at the same. You know, everybody think different. And we was childish ass teenagers not trying to not trying to justify shit. I still take partial blame because I could have easily maybe tossed it in a trash can or something. But then again, they would have been like, why the fuck you tossed them food? I don't know, y'all. I just felt like it was a lose-lose in the moment. But now, the me now, bitch... Fuck, absolutely no. And I'm pretty sure Alicia would never do that shit either. I hope. But yeah. <laughs> this is probably the most trifling story time I'm gonna ever have for y'all. Cause that shit was disgusting. Other than, you know, when I got cheated on and played and all that shit. That was trifling too. But yeah, this one, we was trifling this time. Not the other way around. And I just hope y'all learn from a bitch mistakes. If you see your friend doing fuck shit, especially containing bodily fluids, do not condone that bullshit please <laughs> but yeah y'all this is just a little experience that i will never fucking forget ever if you like this video yeah as trifling as it was you please give it a thumbs up <laughs> i'm so sorry don't like it because it was trifling like it because you're not gonna do no shit like this leave a comment and say y'all was some nasty bitches i don't know hit the subscribe button i'm so sorry to scary aka kia and mama Graham. we ain't touch mama Graham food but i just feel like i should apologize to her too i'm so sorry i'm sorry and i'm sorry that y'all was beefing over a nigga because that's terrible that's even more trifling anyway <laughs> y'all already know the vibes thank you so much for making it to the end i'm gonna see y'all in the next one bye not saying it's right it's not right at all <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know i got a ride so i promise you i bet on that whole ride scary was hoping that me and alicia wasn't at work today surprise surprise we at work every day because popeye's overwork you just like walmart so we was at work every day uh, shit <laughs> ah, I'm not hot chips. it was ghetto okay i don't do bodily fluids and i'm not gonna sugarcoat this video i need a car name what's a good old car honda should we call her honda <laughs> I ain't trying to play her. <laughs> when I would catch me a little attitude because I wasn't as close to the manager, the customer said you had an attitude. The customer said you were racist. Y'all, I had a customer say I was racist. I was like, what? And the reason is so dumb. That's a whole other story time. But yeah, <laughs> I was always getting customer complaints and I promise you I was nice and friendly. Alicia was getting customer complaints too. She just never got in trouble. But yeah. Listen, we want no dummies, okay? This might be petty. <laughs> no, okay, look. Okay, wait, listen, listen, listen. We want no dummies. We knew Popeye's had some of the driest biscuits on the scene, right? So we would like, 
have uh, well not i don't know who all would do this but i know me and this other boy would do this we would like one row of biscuits we would not put butter the rest of the biscuits we sop in butter like they literally make you sop them in butter okay we might as well pour the whole butter thing on them and they still dry i don't know how they still dry but anyway one row we wouldn't put this butter on. then we would go around like mm, you want a biscuit better take this biscuit because you know everybody would be hungry and what else can we eat just a little stuff like the biscuits the popcorn chicken and shit um yeah so we would all be going around eating that so we would give motherfuckers the biscuit and they would damn near choke dying because imagine a popeye's biscuit without the butter sopped on them it's gonna take your soul okay it's gonna choke the shit out of you and that's what me and this boy used to do it used to be so funny so lit <laughs> one of them biscuits was damn sure gonna be for old girl okay yeah i'm trying to take your soul sis with that fucking biscuit <sighs> kia beat bopping yeah hey kia what's up no 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 we out of chicken today uh, bitch because what you thinking what you thinking but of course we can't do that but... nah i ain't finna stay home with a christmas fry louisiana chick no sir shit i could barely remember that whole little paragraph he wanted us to say no so i would do it when he was there and, or I wouldn't do it and he would tell me and I would do it for a little bit of time that he was there. But after he left, thank you, she was a Popeyes. How can I help you? Fry cooks? You trying to be funny? I know you ain't just call me Bigfoot. Yeah. Nana, what are you doing? Well, I just got in the way. No, don't touch the ladder. It's holding my juice from when my throat is dry. Mommy. Mama, okay, no, so you gotta move. Back edge. Ooh, my air keep coming on. Shit. I don't wanna stop. Turn into pedal pies. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. Um, every job I had, I forgot what I was gonna say. I really just had a brain fart. But anyway, back to the night. So, so like it was a sorry, y'all, a little side ramble to the point where we knew that they was gonna throw the chicken away. So when it came time to clean the um little warmers where they actually put the racks of chicken on, we let the chemicals and stuff go on the chicken, seep into the chicken. Because I'm like, we like they gonna throw it away anyway. So we would it would be like a rack of chicken. We would slide the rack over, clean it with the chemicals, the chemicals would seep into the chicken. And tell me why sometimes they would feel generous. Tell me why nine times out of ten when the chemicals are seeped into the chicken, that would be the night like, okay, y'all can take some chicken home. First come, first serve. We don't want this chicken. Y'all don't ever let us take chicken home. Now this chemical, now this chicken got uh, cleaning supplies in it. Throw it in the trash like you usually do. They would only let us take like sides and french fries and stuff, but not the chicken. It, it was just so ass backwards and trifling. I will never understand Popeye's logic. If I owned a franchise, I would let them take it home today. People, what if people struggling and working and overwork, getting overworked at Popeye's, let them take this chicken home to feed their family. You know what I'm saying? For the people like that, you ain't have to give me no chicken, okay? I was cool. Give it to the homeless. You just literally throwing it in a dumpster and wondering why people dumpster diving. Because they want that good ass chicken. And then after that, gloves. You packing food? Gloves. But this was before the Band-Aid incident. And also, it was um a thing where you couldn't wear long nails. Because I had my long nails for a cute little minute at Popeye's. But then, I don't know, something happened. And there was just like no more long nails. So I had to cut my little nails off. And there was my real nails. It was like this long, probably longer. My real nails because I got an overlay. That's not the point. It was crazy, y'all. And I promise you, if I had that little short little Hispanic manager, she would have fired me she would have sent my ass home the way that we was acting me and alicia because she was already like y'all know y'all got some of the managers like that was just you older but you still like attention from dudes no matter what age the little short manager she was one of them and if she was there she was looking to fire the females i swear i promise you she wanted to work with nothing but men because it showed in the dudes like that she hired she hired the felon the other fry cook that he got in a fight with like she just wanted to work with all dudes confirming your appointment oh uh, okay you already did that but no, for real, on a serious note, tell me why Alicia and Scary, aka Kia Little Few, lasted so damn long, bitch. When I tell you, um, Kia was still talking shit on the internet after that. Alicia was still coming for her neck and going at her throat, wanted to fight the girl. I cannot remember for the life of me if they actually fight it. Fight it? What the fuck? <laughs> Fought! 
<laughs> like I was saying, me and Alicia fell out like shortly after that. And I heard little rumors, little things in the in the street, you know, because I was still cool with Chelsea and Alicia and Chelsea was still cool. It was weird. But yeah, I mean, Alicia and Chelsea got back cool because Chelsea didn't like her for like a split second trying to have my back. But then everything was honestly so fake back then. But let me start rambling. Let me go get my little crabs and shrimp. I'm going to talk to y'all later.